Morning guys, today's Sunday, I'm 13 DPO and I succumbed to the first response because a load of you were saying that the cheeky runs are crap and don't sometimes detect till 16 DPO. Well, I'm thinking to myself, if I am pregnant, if it doesn't show today, I think I'm out. I felt a little bit tummy crampy yesterday morning and thought, is this stretchy or is this... I wasn't sure if it was stretchiness or whether it was me coming on. I've got to be really quick because all the kids are up. Blank test. Nothing on there. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm giving it a good old 10 second dip. I don't know, I really think I'm in with a chance this month, but I don't feel that pregnant. No sore nipples, loads of CM still. Tired, yes. Thirsty, yes, but that's it really. But I will go through my two week wait in another video when I've got a bit more time. And obviously if it's pregnancy, then I can really microscope all my symptoms and we go through them but yeah I mean in my heart hearts I think we've got such a good chance of being pregnant the control lines up so we give that some time I'll put that away I'm gonna carry on testing obviously till AF shows but as we know 28 days I'll be due on tomorrow 29 days the day after but we have had a few irregularities haven't we what with my mid-cycle bleed and my 20 day ovulation and things like that. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so because I'll be doing lots of videos, whether it's OPKs again, and we've got to go back to the drawing board or whether it's live pregnancy tests, there'll be loads of tests. We'll be chit-chatting pregnancy symptoms if I'm pregnant. There'll be lots of other things I can do um, and just get this tree growing. There's loads of women out there with TTC channels that might be able to help you if you're trying for your first baby or if you're going through symptoms that you don't think are normal but you don't think it's really big enough for a GP's appointment. Just join the family, click on subscribe, like at the end of this video and ping on notifications because it really helps me loads and it gets that tree growing. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to let you know whether it's a positive or a negative and I'll be back tomorrow and I will keep you updated regardless until AF shows. <coughs> right, these are read the results in three minutes, aren't they? I can't see anything. Get rid of all my rubbish. It's really tricky because my husband's just about to come out of the shower. My two old ones are getting dressed. We've got football training again today. It's so full on with football all the time. So it really is a quick five minute video to tell you what's happening. So yeah, as you know, I've done cheapy strips up to now. I started testing on 12 DPO this time around. I'm sorry, 11 DPO. So we've had negative, negative, and this one probably is gonna be negative. But the earliest I've shown is 10 DPO when I miscarried in December. Had no symptoms then other than slightly niggly boobs. Um, this time round, not many symptoms, but I just think because of baby dancing the day before the static and the day of the static, we've got a good chance. Static being the smiley, static on the clear blue, purple advanced digital. <laughs> Right, it's been definitely going now for three minutes because this video is four minutes ten and I feel I would see something now, I really do. As in I think there would be something there if I was Really good daylight in here as well. Our family bathroom. If you can see anything, let me know. But I'm going to say that's a BFN. I'm going to say that's definitely nothing. 
If you can see a line, let me know, but a line so I'm going to say 13 dpo negative but I'm still two days early to test aren't I so I'll keep you updated but that's our first response and definitely negative I might test later on this afternoon yeah love to you all baby dust to you all and please comment down below love you all bye